Hi, thank you for watching New Lennox Now. My name is Kevin Shannon, and I'm here with Brett Figura. Brett, it's nice. thank you for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. Um, you're a, a, music, a musician in our community. Yes. Uh, what, what have you done recently? Um, during uh, COVID, since we're all left in our homes and things were all shut down, um, I'm a drummer in various bands that play around the area and uh, me and my musician friends could not get together. We couldn't play shows or anything. So I decided to um, learn GarageBand because uh, I've been kind of putting that off. I'm sorry, what, what's GarageBand? Yes, <laughs> GarageBand is uh, a recording software that's built into the um, Mac operating system. Okay. So. So with this recording software, you're you're making music. You're making songs, or just a couple of songs, or a whole album. Um, I've tinkered around with it before with just recording um, drums because I'm a drummer for people, in, like in my house and that sort of thing, and messing around with uh, some of the features and, and stuff, but never doing anything serious. And, um, but I decided to kind of hunker down and learn as much as I could about the software and how to use it and uh, sort of recording drums and then composing songs on top of those live drum tracks. Like uh, with lyrics and so, guitar riffs and everything? Almost, yeah. So what I would do is uh, record drums first and then on top of that uh, start adding uh, one by one instruments to record essentially just instrumentals. Um, and then from there, uh, started asking friends to add their lyrics, their vocals on top. So they would um, pick out a song. Um, anybody that would volunteer or get on board for the project. Uh, also they, residents? Some residents, uh, some uh, out of state, some former residents that are out of state. Um, I, for this past album, uh, there's a few people. Uh, Jim Allen is a resident. He's a bass player in several bands. Uh, a fella, J. Ross Green, who I believe is a New Lenox resident, um, who plays around locally a lot. Uh, guitarist, vocalist, songwriter. He's really great. Um, a former resident, Ryan Butterfield, who lives in California now. And then he had several other New Lennox uh, sort of expatriates. Uh, Joe Kuda, who used to live in New Lennox is in California. Jeff Forsyth, who used to live in New Lennox and is in Manhattan. Uh, and Gavin Carroll, who is actually back in New Lennox. But um, yeah, so I'm getting people from all over. Um, that I have a relationship so, with. So are you, are you at Zoom calls with these people, just talking on the phone, or how are you communicating? How are you collaborating? Sure, so like a lot of it kind of happened via Facebook, Instagram, and straight emails. Uh, some, I just kind of put out there who might, you know, who might want to volunteer, be interested in this uh, project. A lot of people volunteered uh, for the latest record and um, a few people I solicited and uh, asked that they would want to be involved. And then from there, um, I kind of devised a, a batch of sort of basic instructions to kind of, and guidelines to follow um, uh, via email. Send it all out. They would record their part or whatever, send it back, and then I would mix it into the song. And That's, that sounds, like to me, it sounds really complicated. It's very logistically kind of nutty. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, um, how how long is the album? Is it one side, a uh, couple hours? Uh, what are we looking at here? Sure. So uh, the album ended up being sixteen tracks, uh, so sixteen different vocalists, uh, initially sixteen instrumentals. Um, roughly, I think is just over an hour. And it's all digital, so it's a digital download on Bandcamp. Um, being that it's a for charity, and um, everybody uh, put forth their talents for free um, for the record, uh, uh, there there was no 
capital to come in to, to print like CDs or, or vinyl or anything like that. So, so it's strictly digital. Let, let's, let's stop there for a second. So you put this on a, a, a website? Mm -hmm. uh, what was the name of that website again? So the website is Bandcamp, and it's a, it's a great website of artists. Uh, if you have a band, you're any sort of musician, or you're a label, you could put your music up there, and you make the call on your cost for the user. Okay, so, so then uh, you put it up there, uh, you know, Brett's album. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the name of the album? It's called Shut In Sounds 3, The Righteousness of Spring. That's fantastic. <laughs> I love that title. So. Okay, so so now we have this album up there, and you put a, a, a cost on the album, and and so now you're getting uh, you know proceeds that are going into this account. What are we doing? You said charity. Yeah. So what? Tell me more about this charity. Yeah, this is sure. really interesting. So all the proceeds uh, for the record are going to uh, the Save Our Stages cause um, that was started by an orga organization called NEVA, the National Independent Venue Association. Um, and I believe they were created during COVID to try to save independent venues and the people that worked for them. So um, small venues where live music normally plays. Correct, yeah. And there's a, another organization called CIVIL, which is uh, sh Chicago's uh, sort of version of that. It's the Chicago Independent Venue. Uh, league and um, so I'm splitting all the proceeds between the, those two um, organizations. Brett that's fantastic. Thanks. Helping charities and, and working on a project like this that's as large as you've described that's a lot of work and that's really great stuff. So we're gonna hear a couple you brought some songs with it we're gonna hear a couple songs. Mm -hmm. Uh, off of your album, what was the name of the album again? Shut In Sounds 3, The Righteousness of Spring. And uh, while we're listening to these songs, there's going to be some information on the screen so that you can help support Brett and support our local venues. We hope you enjoy the music. Thank you for watching. <laughs> 